at Stanford I hadn't done any water jumps before the race so it was just kind of gonna be like we'll see what happens but it's getting a lot more comfortable especially today I didn't even didn't even really notice the barriers but it's always nice running faster than 1500 so the steeple is a little different than that so do you want to be a coach do you, do you want to continue running uh, yes I mean I'm lucky enough to have great coaches at UNI Dave Paulson uh, he's really helped me out a lot he's still coaching me and gave me the opportunity to coach there so I couldn't be much luckier to be able to stick around my home team and get to coach the athletes that I've been teammates with has been a really great experience when you run the majority of the race by yourself how does your mindset change or how do you approach the race differently honestly I wasn't really I wasn't thinking about time at all I was just like okay especially because I got put in the second waterfall I was like all right I just started in the back but that's okay um, I wasn't really thinking about time at all and then I went through the mile and I was like oh I'm actually on pace for uh, low 10 so I was like I gotta stay on it and I'm always when you're in front you're always thinking hey someone's gonna catch me so that's at least the thought that I have in my mind is that someone's coming for me so you got to keep going you can't let up at all especially in a distance race because people will come out of nowhere in the last lap so yeah it's always good to pay attention to that you feel like that next year is there though yes um, I was finished you know, if I would have had somebody to run with the second half of the race and really push me, I think that would have helped a lot. But I'm glad I had to do it on my own because it's, I mean, it's mentally tough. Like, I work out and practice by myself, but in a race it's totally different, so I'm glad that I didn't let up and I could have just fallen back with a second place girl, but you can't do that. So. In total, Alex, how many steeples have you run? Um, this was my third one. Third one. Was so, it? the first one was right after uh, regionals last year, so that was a really upsetting loss. I mean, I didn't make it to national, so I was very upset, but my coach, you know, he was like, let's try it, let's do the steeplechase, giving me something else to think about, and so ran the steeplechase, a couple of the barriers were at men's height, so that, that was a mistake, but it was really fun, I ran 1023, and then I opened up at Stanford about a month ago, ran 1010, there was a lot of room for improvement in there, so... You said you, were, I'm sorry, you said you were upset when you didn't make the, in the mile? In the uh, yeah, I so I ran 418 and I had the ninth fastest time in the region and they take 12, but because of qualifying standards, I was the first person out. So, okay. yep, that so was, you did a new home basically. Uh, yeah, that was pretty awful. But I mean, it's given me a lot of fuel to the fire, so it'll all work out. Uh, so, how satisfying is it to win here then? I mean, um, very. I've gotten second place twice and third a couple times. So Second place, like in high school, in the four x eight and four x four, in the same year. I've never won anything, so it was really exciting to win. That was the goal today. I wanted to win for once <laughs> here at Drake. Congratulations! Thanks. Do you feel confident that you can? Did you get oh, sub ten? Yes, I feel very confident that I, especially after today, when it was like first half, I wasn't really. I don't want to say I wasn't trying, but I wasn't pushing. And so I think that, yeah, there I felt, I mean, I'm fine now. Like, they're definitely, I should be falling over <laughs> if I really want my hardest. So, yeah, I think there's, yeah, I, I'm hoping there's another 10, 15 seconds in there when I get into peak shape and peak season. Right now it's kind of the, you know, a lot of professionals are opening up right now and doing their first race. So they've got a lot of a lot of time to get in better shape. <laughs> As we were watching, watching the race, you know, going into that last lap, yeah. if you'd have ran about a 66, you know, probably. I know, and I think, I mean, 66 is fast. If there was no barriers, yes, I definitely could have done that, but with the barriers. And I'm still not, like, completely confident with going into the water jump full speed. I don't want to biff it, because I've seen people do that, so. I was trying to stay really controlled and keep good, you know, mechanics over the barrier, so. They were all water jumps today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's why I was like, I don't even care this right I already have to jump in the water, so it's fine.